Do you know, as I've been doing my own reflection this week and working our way up, we get to this spot, right, of the death on Friday. And with it, the world stops. It stops for everybody. Anytime we've experienced tragedy or grief or uh, death of a dream, loss of a loved one, bad news, our world goes into slow motion and it drags. And those followers of Jesus, Friday clicked over into Saturday, which clicked over into Sunday, and they were not looking for a resurrection. And then we get to John chapter 21, the very uh, last uh, chapter of the Gospel of John. And we find Jesus appearing to his disciples again. And he's fixing breakfast for them. And you've got Peter then. You remember how Peter, Peter is the one who denied Jesus three times. On that Friday morning when Jesus needed someone to stand up with him, Peter was bailing. And it was Judas who betrayed, but Peter and the others did with their words and their actions. And now Jesus dies. Peter and the others are out in a boat, they're fishing. Jesus waves for them to come back on the shore. They're trying to sort all this out, and he has breakfast cooking for them. And then he says to Peter, hey, you still going to follow me? Do you still love me? Three times they asked him that. Three times Peter had denied him. Kind of a little direct correlation there. And then it's Peter who goes on to become this significant leader. How'd that happen? You know, I'm convinced of this. Sometimes I get stuck in my Friday moments when all I can see is it's Friday. When I lost something, something's not working, I don't like the way my life looks, I get stuck in grief, disappointment, heartache, anger, bitterness. It's a lot of Friday moments. Peter had been stuck in his, but now, now he was experiencing a resurrection. A Sunday moment. There's an old, old sermon it says it's Friday, but thank God Sunday's coming. Well, it can come for you too. And that's the hope and the promise and the power of the resurrection. We get lost in our Friday moments, and God is inviting you to Sunday. He's inviting you to resurrection. He's inviting you to hope, to promise. And so for me this week, I love this week leading up to Easter. My own personal Devo time lets me follow the footsteps of Jesus from the triumphal entry to the cross to the resurrection, to the hope that Peter found. It was Friday, but there's always Sunday.